Not long ago, it's been confirmed that Air India is expected to announce a salary hike of about 8 to 10 percent for their pilots. Good news, right? Pilots should be happy. Twist is they are not. And why that is the case? Also, what precisely happened that they have planned to give a raise to their pilots all of a sudden? As you already know, that Air India is not in the control of the government anymore. It is solely run and operated by our very own Tatas. So everything that happens in their control is going to affect the brand. Without further ado, let's see what is the issue. On 27th March, Air India pilots write a letter to their CEO with a bunch of complaints. They wrote that there are no weekly rest and time offs after hours of flying for the pilots. They are being forced to take extra work when their schedule should be free. And when they put it to the concerned authority, it goes into deaf ears. Their leave requests for if the family members are hospitalized in case are turned a blind eye. All these angered the pilots. The things that they need the most right now is not the money really, is the rest, empathy and consideration. Now, the question that come up here is why they are given extra work. Are there not enough pilots? Or does the individuals in charge of scheduling is at the fault because they deliberately push all the work over them? Not really. The actual complication is the former reason. That is, there is a pilot shortage. And this is not just the difficulty that Air India has been going through. But Akasa, Indigo and every other airline in India is going through the same mess right now. The Air India apparently doesn't have enough pilots to fly its existing set of aircraft, causing the ultra-long haul flights to constantly get cancelled or delayed. The average hours that is required to cover the long distances through these flights would be 16 hours, which fly straight to Vancouver and San Francisco. According to CNBC TV 18's estimate, the airline currently has 1,600 pilots for its 114 aircraft, while it needs at least 1,850 pilots when you think about the rotational shifts and rest and emergencies that inevitably pop up. This is the case of just the long haul flights. Now think about the commercial flights and the commercial pilots. India needs 1,000 fresh commercial pilots every year to meet the needs of the growing aviation industry, especially after the corona virus. Still, after knowing everything, Air India along with other airlines are going on an expansion spree without first resolving the matter at hand. For its expansion mission, it will require more than 6,500 pilots to operate 470 aircraft that are to be supplied by Airbus and Boeing in the coming years. Thus, seeking to expand fleet as well as operations, the airline has placed orders for acquiring a total of 840 aircraft that includes an option to buy 370 plans. Sorry, planes. This is one of the largest aircraft order by any airline. But who would manage these huge number of aircrafts really when there are no pilots? It's going to be hard because while needing 1000 commercial pilots every year is a need, Indian airlines can manage giving licenses to only 600 pilots on an average every year, where 200 pilots retire at the same time. Even if you take the case of 2021 and 22, where average number of pilots with the CPL, that is their license, was 862 and 1081 respectively, the number cannot be constant. Taking this expansion spree of airline companies into account, how can there still be the problem with pilot shortage when pilots already are getting the CPL? You might wonder. That's because licenses alone do not ensure that you've become a full-fledged pilot. You still need 15,000 hours of training to become a pilot from the co-pilot. Now, you can see where this is going. This indicates that the shortage is probably not of the fresher pilots, but the experienced ones, the pros. 
DGCA chief Arun Kumar said that there is in fact an oversupply of pilots and there are currently 13,000 pilots in our country where only 30% are unemployed, implying that the problem lies in training the pilots and the pace at which the newbies become the pros. Meaning, if only there are enough flying schools and expert instructors along with other facilities, will the pilot shortage go away? As of now, we have 35 approved flying schools that use 53 air bases to train pilots, which is just not enough to produce the number of pilots we'll soon need. But wait, the problem does not end over here. Not only the licenses are an issue, but becoming a pilot in itself is extremely expensive nowadays. There are lakhs and lakhs invested into becoming a pilot after exams and stuff. And when it comes to training, due to lack of facilities, the students are sent to train in abroad or they themselves have to pay for the training in foreign countries and come back only to log an additional 20 hours under different conditions to get an Indian CPL. Now, this is the reason people just don't want to fly a plane in India when they can get a lot better facilities abroad with every perk that they require. Indian airlines have to step up their game and speed up the processes through which one has to go through to become a pilot. Otherwise, if they are going to be less paid than their foreign counterparts, after spending millions into training, getting through additional hoops for a salary of 1 lakh per month on an average, they might just go with the abroad option and choose to stay there. That's it for today. We'll meet you in the next video. Thanks.